ये सब चीजें इनके नाम है अब लेट्स डिस्कस अबाउट द सोसाइटी द इकोनॉमी ऑफ द थ्री किंगडम्स दिस इज एक्चुअली वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वट एवर वी स्टडीड अबाउट दीज थ्री किंगडम्स ना दैट इज नॉट यूजली आज इन एग्जाम्स बट दैट डजेंट मीन you should not read that you should not study that you should not retain that that is important everything is important what we are discussing over here please don't leave anything please don't leave these stones unturned palat ke dekh lena inhe okay please turn these now let's talk about the core part the economy part the society part and other such things kyunki social structure society mein kya kya cheeze hui those are very very important you cannot miss this part sabse pehle is baat karte hain inki economy ki guys their economy was based on the geographical area now there were three geographical areas at that time can you see eco zones eco eco, eco matlab ecology hai ye this is not economy but ecology right that means the overall geography of that area so five zones were there the hilly region the arid zones the pastoral tracts jahan ghas hogi bahut zyada where cattle rearing can be done easily wetlands where water would be available a lot of water would be available to so paddy paddy acha ho sakta rice cultivation and the sea coast tab sea coast mein kya hota hai the the soil is not that fertile because of the predominance of salt over there na to so, alag alag jagah par they would be coming up with different commerce part can we see this thing right kurinji kurinji ka matlab hai hilly area mein they would be going for hunting and gathering technically in hilly areas guys agriculture is not practically possible especially at that time even now we don't have much agriculture over there in the hilly areas theek hai palai palai ka matlab kya hai arid zones mein again they would not be able to produce anything to kya karenge they would took to raiding and plundering aas pass ke area se loot maar karenge right then comes the mullai area pastoral tract logical hai pastoral area hai to they would be going for cattle rearing yani ki animal husbandry the very logical points वेटलैंड्स है वेटलैंड्स मतलब जहां पर इजीली यू कैन ग्रो एनीथिंग वेटलैंड आई होप यू नो वेटलैंड ये दिस इज नॉट एक्जेक्टली वन वर्ड वेटलैंड इट्स नॉट अ सिंगल वर्ड दैट मींस एन एरिया समर्ज अंडर वाटर नो वेटलैंड्स मीन प्रिडोमिनेंस ऑफ वाटर या इजीली सॉरी इजी अवेलेबिलिटी ऑफ वाटर तो क्या करेंगे दे वुड गो फॉर प्लाव एग्रीकल्चर दे कैन इजीली ग्रो राइस ओवर देयर एंड लास्ट इज सी कोस्ट सी कोस्ट में अगेन एग्रीकल्चर इज नॉट पॉसिबल तो दे वुड गो फॉर फिशिंग एंड salt making over there so five eco zones having their different economic activities respective economic activities this is one part which you have to mention in ldrn last revision notebook mein please add it very very important rice part we already discussed theek hai the most important food the food grain that they'll be having or connecticut dam ka humne aapko zikr kar diya hai they already discussed the king Chola King Karikal, who got this dam made for better irrigation facility, the earliest dam of India. Okay, spinning and weaving of textile. That's what again we have discussed, right? Cotton ka, silk ka, ye weaving karte the. Textile industry, industry, very important, especially for the cholas. Cholas were mainly known for their cotton textiles, right? Trade with Romans, we've already discussed, especially the Pandyas and the Cheras having their trade with Romans. Now there are two important texts, guys. The Roman texts which mention these South Indian kingdoms and how exactly they were trading with the Romans. One text is Periplus of the Erythraean Sea, and the other text is Natural History. In both these texts, we get cross references of these three South Indian kingdoms. now what exactly they were exporting number 1 would be spices logical hai guys south india mein baat kar rahe ho export ki baat kar rahe ho so there will be lots of spices that would be exported can you see pepper being called yavan priya yavan matlab kya yavan matlab greeks yavan was the term yeah is the term used in hindi and the north indian languages for greeks so yavan priya is the term for pepper perfumes jewels ivory fine textile muslin you remember muslin muslin is a fine cotton cloth ha huh? cotton ka kapda jo malmal bolte hain malmal but even that malmal is cotton very refined form of uh, iron ke likhe iron please i am not able to get this thing anyways 
then precious and semi precious stones lots of semi precious stones like diamond i would like to mention one important aspect about diamond i i hope uh, everybody knows i mean quite a lot of people know this thing because i have discussed this in my earlier sessions till 1825 india was the only place in the world where diamond was mined i repeat 1825 yani aaj se sirf 200 saal 200 years usse pehle tak duniya mein kahin se bhi diamond was not mined it was only from india that diamond was mined golconda mines andhra pradesh wala jo area na golconda wala was that was the only place from where the entire mining of world diamond was done uske baad acha it's named after a place in iraq theek hai theek hai iraq theek hai theek hai ठीक है, आई होप इट इज क्लियर सो लॉट ऑफ सेमी प्रेशर स्टोन्स एंड व्हाट एक्जेक्टली वर दे गेटिंग इन रिटर्न व्हाट फुड इंडियंस लव द मोस्ट गोल्डन सिल्वर गोल्डन सिल्वर सिंक ऑफ प्रेशियस मेटल्स ऑफ द वर्ल्ड सारा गोल्डन सिल्वर कहां आ रहा था यही आ रहा था दैट वाज इवेंचुअली लूटेड बाय पीपल फ्रॉम अफगानिस्तान द ब्रिटिश Yes, absolutely, Neha. It was all good. It was all rosy, huh? <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> true, 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 true. ठीक है. और क्या चीजें export होती थी? Wine वगैरह भी कुछ export होता था, but that's not that important, right? अब एक चीज है. All this trade was facilitated by the monsoon winds. I hope you people know that monsoon comes in India in this direction. What is this direction called? This is what what we call as southwest monsoon. और मॉनसून वापस कैसे जाता है हाउ डज इट रिट्रीट दिस इज व्हाट वी कॉल एज नॉर्थ ईस्ट मॉनसून इट कम्स लाइक दिस साउथ वेस्ट डायरेक्शन फ्रॉम साउथ वेस्ट डायरेक्शन कैन यू सी द डायरेक्शन साउथ वेस्ट एंड इट गोज बैक लाइक दिस रिट्रीट्स लाइक दिस नॉर्थ ईस्ट डायरेक्शन गाइस इट वाज इन 45 सी व्हेन अ ग्रीक नेविगेटर नेम हिप्लस वाज एबल टू डिस्कवर दिस फिनोमिनन इट वाज एबल टू डिसाइफर दैट ओ माय गॉड in a certain season the winds tend to blow from southwest to northeast and in a certain season the winds tend to move in an opposite direction that means from northeast to southwest right so once this phenomena was discovered direct sea route yani ki sea trade ya sea trade route would be facilitated like this or not the machine is thodi thi That उन्होंने पेट्रोल भरा डीजल भरा भरा मशीनों में और कहीं पे भी लेके निकल गए इट वॉज नॉट लाइक दैट दे वर प्राइमरली यूजिंग विंड एनर्जी इन ऑर्डर टू नेविगेट देअर शिप्स ना तो विंड एनर्जी कब यूज करेंगे वेन द विंड इज फेवरेबल वेन द विंड वुड हेल्प दैम टू रीच टू नेविगेट टू देयर डेस्टिनेशन सो वंस दे न्यू दैट इफ यू कैन यूटिलाइज द विंड बिकॉज देल बी ब्लोइंग इन दे बी ब्लोइंग साउथ वेस्ट or they will be blowing north east in this way they would be definitely increasing their trade through sea route cuz of cheese now let's see the important ports we have already mentioned most of these ports discuss most of these ports brigu kach or broch baduch you remember that's in present day gujarat this used to be a part of dakshin path at one point of time and if i can recall all these places were uh, uh places of conflict between the shak kshatraps and satvahans i hope you remember this so para kalyan they are in maharashtra and muziri muziri is in present day keral near cochin we have already discussed theek okay? hai eastern coast par tamralipti we have already discussed tamralipti in yani west bengal this was where the uttar path concluded in the east direction nala supara wala absolutely or arika medu this is in present day pondicherry so these were the important ports there there is no chennai over here chennai nahi hai yahan pe chennai hai madras port was not there at that time i hope you know chennai is an artificial port you know this or not we'll talk about this in geography but chennai as a port was not there at that time theek hai to sab port se jagah jagah hota tha these were the important places of trade ha huh? important towns varji the capital of the cheras muziri or muchiri we have already discussed the important port of the cheras madurai korkai uraiyur these were the important khaskar uraiyur and kaveri patnam these were the important uh, trading centers of cholas 
or madurai and korkai these were the important trading centers of pandyas so check this out first two cher ke important trading centers third and fourth pandyas and fifth and sixth the important cholas trading centers i hope it is clear to everyone please revise these through notes aap ise revise kar sakte ho it's all there in the notes you'll get all these notes <coughs> now let's talk about their social structure social structure mein india was the only supplier of paper in the ancient time if i'm not wrong india is still the only supplier of paper in the world <laughs> so bhaiya yahi hai sara paper to paper matlab and uh, paper actually gives a lot of taste to the food huh? when direction they use clothes on top of yes yes madam still they are still they are check out the the boats uh, which which run on wind energy they have got that cloth the yachts nahi yacht to alag alag tarah ki hoti hain main yachts are of different types but yes wind driven boats are still being used wind driven boats the machhuwaras na jo hote hain na fish fishermen they still tend to use a lot of wind driven boats okay okay तो सोशल स्ट्रक्चर के बारे में देखते हैं लेट सी द सोशल स्ट्रक्चर गाइस प्रॉपर वन सिस्टम वाज देयर ठीक है बट वन गुड थिंग वाज द सोशल डिस्क्रिमिनेशन ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ कास्ट वाज नॉट देयर एट लीस्ट इनिशियली विद टाइम इट वुड हैव क्रेप्ट इन द सोसाइटी द डिटीरियोरेशन इन द मॉरल स्टैंडर्ड्स वुड हैव क्रेप्ट इन बट इनिशियली इट वाज नॉट देयर ठीक है तो द ब्राह्मण्स एंड अदर पीपल डिड नॉट एंजॉय स्पेशल प्रिविलेजेस ठीक है वो सब मिलता है रेगुलर वर्ल्ड सिस्टम इज देयर बट डिफ्रेंसिएशन राधर आई शुड से डिस्क्रिमिनेशन ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ कास्ट वॉज नॉट देयर पॉइंट वन ठीक है नाउ स्ट्रेटिफिकेशन के लिए दे यूज टू कंसिडर अ वर्ड कॉल कुटी कुटी मीन्स क्लैन बेस्ड डिसेंट ग्रुप्स सो इट वॉज ही माना जाता था कि क्लैन क्लैन का मतलब क्या होता है वट इज क्लैन clan means uh, hindi word would of clan what is the hindi word of clan here dekhna zara just check out the hindi word of clan uh jaise kunba hota hai kunba i think clan would be kunba if i am not wrong just check it out on internet clan ka matlab kya hoga kabila okay kabila right kabila to kabila hi system zyada tha thoda sa to one one set of people one 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 group of people living at a certain place they would consider themselves as kuti ठीक है वी आर कोटी वी हैव अ कॉमन एंसेस्टर और बट दैट डजेंट मीन देयर वुड बी डिस्क्रिमिनेशन ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ दिस थिंग दैट्स व्हाट आई हैव ऑलरेडी सेड ठीक है रूलिंग क्लास वाज कॉल्ड अरासर द रिच मर्चेंट्स वर कॉल्ड वेललास एंड दे वुड बी हैविंग मैट्रिमोनियल रिलायंस मैट्रिमोनियल अलायंस विद अरासर तो पैसे वाले लोग बिजनेसमैन के साथ मैट्रिमोनियल अलायंस करेंगे दिस इज अ वेरी ऑब्वियस थिंग राइट then the agricultural laborers wo kya kehlate the in their language that's called kadaisiya i'm not sure about the pronunciation the agricultural laborers who were very poor who probably worked as uh, uh, contract labor they were called pariyar 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 ke naam se jana jata tha remember this name we'll be using this name in modern history modern history mein naam yaad aayega ye pariyar who used to work in animal skins बहुत गरीब लोग थे दे डिड नॉट हैव इवन मनी टू बाय कॉटन क्लोथ दे डिड नॉट हैव दैट मच ऑफ मनी सो द स्किन ऑफ एनिमल्स दे यूज टू वियर दैट दे यूज टू यूज दैट फॉर क्लोथ ओके और लोग अपना ऑक्यूपेशन करते थे वेरी ऑब्वियस थिंग वो तो सब जगह कॉमन था शार्प सोशो इकोनॉमिक इन इक्वालिटीज वर देयर गाइज द सोसाइटी वॉज नॉट इक्वालिटेरियन एट ऑल देर वर डिफरेंट classes different sections of people in the society as we find in north india also theek hai class of warriors because they used to have a lot of conflicts among themselves so class of warriors would be there now the commanders of the army were given the title of inadi because they were having so many conflicts the people who showed valor in wars in battles guys they were given a place of prestige in the society different titles were and uh, were were given to them right is tarike se hota tha horse use hota tha elephants yes elephant and horses both were being used over there bhai elephant to wahan milta hi hai 
we find so many elephants over there i mean still we find elephants over there horses india as a country guys we don't have horses over here in india so if we are using horses they had to be imported from outside right arab horses absolutely arbi ghode so that was the thing war heroes that's what i have already discussed theek hai aur nat nattukal ya virukal is tarah ki cheeze hoti thi ye memorial stones hote the that like we have we still have got memorials of various war heroes in and around india this a practice which is followed around the globe war heroes ko war memorial बना देना पीसफुल इंटरेक्शन द गॉड्स ऑल थिंग्स वर देयर बुद्धिस्ट जैनिस दैट्स व्हाट वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड ये सब चीजें थी राइट देन देयर गॉड व्हाट वन लोकल गॉड और द गॉड हु वाज वर्शिप्ड अ लॉट ओवर देयर गाइस द डेइटी वाज कॉल्ड मुरुगन नो मुरुगन इज आइडेंटिफाइड विद कार्तिकेय वन ऑफ द सन्स ऑफ लॉर्ड शिवा तो लोकल गॉड वहां पर मिलते हैं मुरुगन के नाम से द द टेक्स्ट द स्क्रिप्चर्स दे रेफर टू गॉड मुरुगन आई रिपीट लॉर्ड मुरुगन इज कंसीडर्ड टू बी वन ऑफ द अवतार्स वन ऑफ द प्रतिरूप ऑफ लॉर्ड शिव ठीक है यहीं पे नाम सुब्रमणिया भी आता है अगेन दीज आर द डिफरेंट इनकारनेशन या डिफरेंट फॉर्म्स ऑफ लॉर्ड शिव in southern part of india i hope you know in most of the temples in the south <coughs> hold on <coughs> in most of the temples of the south uh, neha kartike is considered one of the sons of lord shiv check karna in most of the temples in south india the main deity is lord shiv only check this out main deity being shiv jo bhi aapko temples milte na south mein they are mostly shiv temples the main deity jo garbh grah hota hai the garbh grah is the main uh, part of the temple where the main idols are kept the main idol is kept theek hai so that's called garbh grah you will mostly find shiv over there right cremation hota tha megalithic age hum batai chuke hain then belief in some sort of magical force usko bolte the anaku ananku ya namku karke ye word aata hai it's like some sort of jadu tona to kisi ko kehte hain ananku chad gaya uske upar you know some sort of a bhoot some sort of a ghost some sort of jadu tona that's magical force called ananku which is which we which gets a lot of reference in various sangam era text aur khaskar ye mana jata tha ki ye it can cling to women matlab ye sab this this side it seems was a social evil at that time no doubt women were educated but we can find certain instances of sati but that was not mandatory and the position of widows being miserable so this is a proper social evil that we can find at that time social evil the aisa nahi keh sakte ki you know everybody was treated equally a women had equal treatment at that time no doubt they were educated we find a lot of women poets contributing in tamil literature ya sangam literature but the practice of you know i keep on saying this term ki widow word should not be used in english but that's what is still used and uh, the their position in the society they they were looked down upon in the society whenever i talk about this thing i remember a movie called uh, prem rog the people of hindi hindi speaking people might have seen the movie prem rog they have shown the miserable position of widows in the indian society right check out that movie you'll find what i am saying over here and uh, trust me guys that is still prevalent in various parts of india a woman whose husband dies she is ill treated in quite a lot of parts of india even till date that's a bad thing but that's what society is made up of right to position of widows wala part ye sab bataya ja chuka hai surviving spouse i think would be a better term are main bahut acha bola hai bhai 
thank you for for giving this term surviving spouse i think this is a more <clears throat> practical word i would say respected word as compared to a word like widow which is very discriminating which is very kya kehna balki ye to discriminating bhi chhota shabd hai this is demeaning frankly speaking demeaning hai wo to khair sati ka instances milte hain but there is no historical proof of this particular part sati sati ka pehla historical profile i'll i'll uh, tell you this part when we'll be talking about the gupta age theek hai guys so tomorrow we'll be starting with the gupta age theek hai i have added certain mains practice questions over here shayad ye wala part ho chuka hai this part i think already has been done but isme sangam wala part has been added ek bar check kar lena the questions right sangam age ke jo questions hai na they have that have been added or they were already there in that slide <coughs> dekh lena <coughs> 